first information it's a measurement information is denoted here by ix and it can be measured by if some event occurs with probability px then its information will be log of 1 upon px here base of the log b can be 2 if it's a 2 then its unit will be bit this is binary unit and if b is 10 its unit will be decit or hartley and if its base is n sorry e then its unit will be net so <coughs> we shall discuss some questions on this information if you flip some you flip a coin flipping a coin output will be either head or tail then information contained by this event will be h of x sorry probability of head and probability of tail will be half and the information log of 1 upon ph is equal to I will take base here 2 log of base 2 1 upon 0 0.5 will become log of base 2 1 upon 0 0.5 will be 2 and log 2 base 2 will be 1 this is simple algebra this is log property if log b base b it will come out to be 1 log b to the power n log something x it will come out to be n log b base x and log m by n will be log m minus log n and log x m into n will be log m base x plus log n base x and if you want to convert base of the log then it can be converted in the in this way if base is b and some value is here x and if you want to convert in it in some other base for example if you want to convert it in natural log so it will be natural log of x divided by natural log of b these are some formulae so this is the information contained by this uh, info uh, this uh, experiment now i will be discussing some other uh, questions there is one question here we have to verify the equation i x i y j is equal to i x i plus i y j this is the information this is the whole information and this is the individual information if x i and y j are independent if x i and y j are independent then obviously 
probability probability p of x i and y j will become p of x i into p of y j and if i want to find its information i of x i y j it will be equal to log of 1 upon p of x i y j which will be equal to log of 1 upon p of x i into p of y j ok I can write it log of 1 upon p x i into 1 upon p of y j which will be equal to log of 1 upon p of x i plus because if I take it m and this is n log m into n will be log m plus log n so it will be log of 1 upon p of y j and I know log 1 upon p x i will be i of x i plus log of p y j log of 1 upon p of y j will be i y j. So, we had to verify it and this is the result that, that is the true. Now, there is one more term here entropy. H x it can be denoted by H x entropy is the average self information here i equal to 1 to n p of x i this is the probability into i of x i which will be equal to 1 to n p of x i into log of 1 upon p of x i. I can also write it negation of negative sign i equal to 1 to n p of x i into log of p x i. This is our formula. Now, we shall discuss some questions on uh, entropy. There is one question, a discrete memoryless source. Discrete memoryless source is the source which is independent of the E, uh, events means whatever it's emitting or whatever it's it has emitted previously it doesn't dependent on whatever has happened and what is going to happen so a DMS produces four symbols x1 x2 x3 and x4 with probabilities 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 respectively calculate entropy. First of all, we have to calculate its entropy and we know it is a formula h of x is equal to summation of i equal to 1 to n and n is here 4 p of p of 
x1 into log of 1 upon px1 now if i don't want to use summation here i equal to i am writing i here okay so what will happen p of x1 log 1 upon p of x1 plus p of x2 into log of 1 upon p of x2 plus p of x3 into log of 1 upon p of x3 plus p of x4 into log of 1 upon p of x4 we will substitute values here p of x1 is half 0 0.5 log 1 upon 0 0.5 this 2 plus 0 0.2 log of 1 upon 0 0.2 this will be 2 here plus 0 0.2 log base 2 1 upon 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 log 1 upon 0 0.1 which will be 0 0.5 log 2 it will be 2 plus 0 0.2 log base 2 it will be 5 plus 0 0.2 log 5 plus 0 0.1 log 10 base 2 now if I simplify it 0 0.5 log base 2 base 2 it will be 1 here because log I have already discussed log m base m will always be 1 so it will be 1 plus here 2 times 2 into 0 0.2 log of base 2 5 plus 0 0.1 log 10 base 2 its value come out comes out to be 1.76 and one more part is there one more part is here we have to obtain the information contained in the message x4 x3 x1 x1 now if I want to get its uh, probability p of x4 x3 x1 x1 which comes out to be 0 0.5 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.1 which will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 <coughs> and if I want to get it information i of x4 x3 x1 x1 which will be log of 1 upon 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 base 2 which comes out to be this was the solution of this problem yes we have one more question prove that the entropy of a discrete source is maximum when the output symbols are equally probable if there are two symbols I assume there are two symbols x1 and x2 and probability of coming x1 is p and probability of coming x2 is 1 minus p means these are not equal now if I take entropy of this experiment it will be hx is equal to p log of 1 upon p base 2 plus 1 minus p log of 1 upon p minus 1 sorry 1 minus p base 2 it can be written as minus p 
log p base 2 plus here it will come out to be negative minus 1 minus p log 1 minus p base 2. Now I have to take its derivative with respect to p. So we know d upon dx of x to the power n was n x to the power n minus 1 and d upon dx of log x it was 1 upon x but base of the log was natural log I could write it ln and if I want to convert this base 2 to natural log uh, what I have to do uh, log p with respect base is 2 I have to write it natural log p divided by natural log 2 in this way we shall solve this problem now if I write in it in natural log minus p natural log p divided by natural log 2 minus 1 minus p natural log 1 minus p divided by natural log 2 I can take it outside minus sign 1 upon natural log 2 and here it is p log p if I take its uh, derivation with respect to p, if I take it, take it as a constant, then p will be remaining as it is and log p's derivative will be 1 upon p. And second time, log p will be constant and p's derivative will be 1. And I have taken it outside as a whole so it will be positive sign here if I take it 1 minus p constant it will remain as it is and derivation of 1 minus p will be 1 upon 1 minus p and minus p's derivative will be minus 1 plus if I take it as a constant log of 1 minus p into 1 minus p's derivative will be minus 1 because its a derivative will be 0 and minus p's derivative will be minus 1. If I solve it minus natural log 2 p into 1 upon p is 1 plus natural log p plus it will be discarded 1 minus p 1 minus p is 1 minus sign will be here plus minus sign will remain here also minus log of 1 minus p if I solve it minus 1 upon natural log 2 1 plus log p minus 1 minus log of 1 minus p sorry 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 this is the hx this is also hx now I am taking derivation with respect to p of hx so this is the d of hx divided by dp d of hx by dp I have to equate it to 0 if I equate it to 0 what will happen it will be discarded because it's a constant now it will be 0 log p minus log 1 minus p is equal to 0 what will happen 
नेचुरल लॉग ऑफ p डिवाइडेड बाय 1 माइनस p विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो इफ आई टेक सम लॉग बेस b सम वैल्यू x इज इक्वल टू जीरो व्हाट विल हैपन x विल कम आउट टू बी b टू दी पावर जीरो नाउ नेचुरल लॉग इज हियर सो नेचुरल लॉग आई एम राइटिंग हियर p divided by 1 minus p will come out to be 1 b to the power 0 means 1 so p will be equal to 1 minus p this implies 2p will be equal to 1 p will come out to be half two symbols were there each is occurring with probability half then it will be maximum and you can easily calculate its maximum value you have to substitute value of p as half and you can easily calculate it a source x has an infinitely large set of outputs with probability of occurrence given by p of x i 2 to the power minus i i is running from 1 to infinite what is the average self information hx of this source so if I check here, probability of x1 will come out to be 2 to the power minus 1 will be 1 by 2. Probability of x2 will come out to be 2 to the power minus 2 will be 1 by 2 square. Probability of x3 will be 1 upon 2 q in this way. And entropy of the source h of x will be given by summation of i equal to 1 to infinity because it's an infinitely large set of symbols I, uh, then what we have to do probability 2 to the power minus i into log of 2 to the power 1 upon 2 to the power minus i base 2 what will happen here will be equal to summation of i equal to 1 to infinity 2 to the power minus i log base 2 2 to the power i because we know 1 upon x to the power minus n is same as x to the power n so what is it summation of i equal to 1 to infinity it will be 2 to the power minus i you can check log m to the power n base b is equals to n log m base b so it will be 2 to the power minus i into i2 it will remain 1 into log 2 base 2 will be summation i equal to 1 to infinity i upon 2 to the power i it will be 1 here so how we have to calculate it h of x will be for i equal to 1 value will be 1 1 upon 2 2 to the power 1 is 2 plus 2 i equal to 2 2 upon 2 square for 3 3 upon 2 q plus and so on you will continue it can be easily seen there is 1 2 3 these are in AP arithmetic progression and 2 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 square 1 upon 2 cube these are in geometric progression and its uh, common ratio is half geometric progressions common ratio is half and if I multiply this common ratio with hx it will be half of hx and if I multiply it here 1 by 2 square and I substitute I, I, I take this term here 
वन बाई टू स्क्वायर प्लस टू बाई टू क्यूब प्लस इट विल बी कंटिन्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इफ इट वॉज फोर अपॉन टू टू दी पावर फोर हेयर एंड इट विल कम आउट टू बी थ्री अपॉन टू टू दी पावर फोर एंड इट विल बी कंटिन्यूड If I sub if I subtract half h x from h x, it will come out to be half of h x, and this will remain as it is, half plus. Denominator is two square two square. I can easily subtract it. Two minus one is one one by two square plus three minus two one by two cube. Plus four minus three is one. I put negative sign here. One by two to the power four. This is infinite GP, and we know infinite GP is summation formula. Uh, A plus A R. Plus a r square plus plus plus. It will come out to be a upon one minus r. The condition is r should always be less than one. Its modulus should be less than one. Now half of h x will be a is half and r is Half one by two square by one by two one minus half a this is one is here r is half so it is half divided by half it will be one since half of h x is one then h x will be two into one so h x will be Uh, let x be a random event taking on values one, two, three up to thirty-six, all with equal probability. Let y equal to x to the power thirty-six mod thirty-seven. What is h y? Before going to solve this problem, we shall have to know what is the Fermat's theorem. Fermat's theorem says. if there is some prime number p and if you raise any power x to the power p minus 1 mod p it will always be 1 for example you can take this value and this x should be less than p for example you can take p as 5 then 1 to the power 4 i am taking p to the x to the power p minus 1 so 1 to the power 4 is 1 2 to the power 4 is 2 to the power 4 mod 5 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16 16 mod 5 is One. If you take three to the power four mod five, it will come out to be eighty one mod five. It will be one four to the power four two fifty six mod five. It will be one. You can see here. We have to use it here also. If If I take y, x to the power thirty six mod thirty seven, and x is less than thirty seven, that is running from one to thirty six, its value will always be one. Then entropy. Probability is one. P of y is one. 
then p of y log of 1 upon p of y this is 1 log of base 2 1 log base log 1's value is, is always 0 so 0 into 1 is 0 its uh, answer will be 0 and sometimes one more question is there uh, you have to calculate h of c k and p is given k is key of encryption or decryption p is the plain text c is the cipher text then you can see easily if you know key and uh, public key then you can easily encrypt it its a probability is 1 if its a probability is 1 then its a entropy will be 0 same question is here h of p given k and c if you know key and ciphertext you can easily decrypt it to plain text so its a value will always be 0